Last week it was mentioned that the story for Grounded will be reset for the 1.0 release on September 27th, and today we were told that creature cards will also be reset. For anyone that spent hours and hours grinding out gold cards legitimately, I'm sure that's not news you want to be hearing, but let's talk about why it's happening. The first reason they may be resetting creature cards is perhaps there's going to be a different way of acquiring the creature cards themselves or the gold card variants. Currently to get a creature card, what you're going to do is enter peeper mode, look at a creature, and then just peep it, take a picture of it basically. What this does is unlock the card for the creature. That's going to be in the data tab, we'll take a look at that in a second. In order to unlock the gold card variant, there is a 1-2% to chance for most creatures, that's what we've been told, of acquiring the gold card. After killing the creature, once you harvest the remains, there is a 1-2% to chance that you will actually get the gold card variant. Of course, that's RNG, so you might get it early, you might take forever to get it. I know for me in the past, I've had creatures that I got it on the first or second try. Others, I think it was like the Ladybird Larva, it took me something like 250 or something like that, somewhere in that range to get them. So it's completely random, so there's a possibility they're going to be changing the way we acquire them. The second reason they might be resetting the creature cards is perhaps they're going to be changing some of the insects or creatures, weaknesses, resistances, and weak points. Once you've acquired the card for a creature by peeping it, you can go to the data tab over here, click on any of the creatures you have currently peeped, and what you'll see is if the creature has any weaknesses, resistances, or weak points, they'll be listed here along with some, a little description down here, uh, along with what parts it drops. So basically this is like an information card for the creature. It also shows you the hearts here, which is going to be how much health it has. So in this case, these are tier two enemies. The red worker ant's only going to be a tier one enemy. And as you can see here, as an example, the red soldier ant is weak to stabbing and spicy, resistant to chopping and slashing, and also has the weakness of its eyes. And then down here, it tells you the parts that it drops. So what I'm thinking is perhaps they're going to change the some of the strengths and weaknesses, or the weaknesses and resistances, excuse me, and perhaps the weak spots, or perhaps they're going to be unlocked over time by taking more pictures. So instead of getting all the information on the first peep, there's a possibility they might make it where you have to peep more than one of them, or maybe you have to peep so many of them, or maybe you have to unlock the gold card variant or a different color variant of it in order to unlock the different categories for each creature. The third reason they might be resetting the creature cards is it's very likely to be, a be tied to at least one achievement, if not two. I'm expecting there to be at least one achievement for the creature cards being to get all the gold card variants. That would be like an end game, super long term goal to acquire all of them. Also, there might be an achievement tied to just get peeping all the creatures in the game. That seems likely too. So there's a possibility that what they're doing is they're resetting the creature card so that you won't just be able to unlock the achievement right away. And it'll give you a long term goal to work towards as you're playing through the stories, which is also going to be reset. The fourth reason they might be resetting the creature cards is perhaps there's going to be a bonus tied to either getting the card itself, acquiring the gold card or some other variant that they might be adding in the 1.0 update. Right now, as we saw, you only see the weaknesses, resistances, any weak points the creature has, and the parts that it dropped. What has been suggested by many people, including myself, is somehow tying a, a, a tying some type of bonus to it. So, for example, I mean, aphids wouldn't really be a good example, but the wolf spider, the orb weaver, the stronger enemies that are in the game, if, for example, getting the gold card variant or if killing a certain number of them could unlock some type of bonus wherein we either deal extra damage to them, we take less, we have higher damage resist against them so we take less damage from them or perhaps some other bonus like the stink bugs pr uh, promote uh, put out gas the uh was it the wolf spiders can poison you perhaps giving resistance to that once you unlock it as a bonus or even things like being able to evade creatures so that you can sneak past them without being detected or it's harder for them to detect you those are all bonuses that could potentially be tied to the creature cards and that would be a reason to reset them so the player going into the one point updates con that's continuing their existing saves won't immediately have access to all those bonuses the fifth reason I thought of as to why the creature cards could be reset is to extend the time it takes us to complete the game or 100% the game. Obviously, if you're continuing a save, you've already unlocked most of the achievements, there's a good chance that you're going to get through the new content in a fairly short amount of time. More likely than not, it's going to be maybe a day or two's worth of content, depending on how much time you put into it. Maybe a little bit longer if you take it casually. But if you just blow through all the new content, you're going to get through it pretty quickly, and thus you'll be able to most likely 100% the game. Resetting the creature cards, especially if you had all the gold cards and if the gold cards are an achievement, that would definitely mean it's going to take far longer to complete the current, the new, the, the new content as well as anybody starting fresh or new players, how long it's going to take them to get through until the end of the content. Now, why would this make sense? Obviously, the longer the we play the game, the more exposure the game is going to get, the longer it's going to stay popular on the Xbox most game played list, on Steam, 
and it's going to be recommending the algorithm on Steam and things like that. It's going to be more popular on social media, YouTube, streaming, and stuff like that. So there is a incentive for the developers to, and especially since they took two, it took they spent two and a half years developing the game, it would certainly make sense for them to want us to spend the more time with the game rather than the majority of the people blowing through all the content in the first couple of days after 1.0, if not quicker, and then just being able to finish the game. So that's the five reasons I thought that the creature cards might be getting reset in the 1.0 update. If you like this video, here's a video on 15 mistakes that players make, which will be perfect to watch right now before the 1.0 release.